here. So I would do workload analysis. Basically, we each get an Excel, we fill it in one time, and then we're done. So these are the same questions that Dr. Lucich uh, uh, sent out in his in the survey. So for example, you would just fill in the brown squares. Uh, did I, I did two book reviews, and uh, they took 20 hours each. And then I know it's 40 hours, and that's 40 hours of research, and everything starts auto-populating. <clears throat> Here's an example with more filled out. Um, let's say that I uh, decided I um, didn't like the number of service. I actually do service that's not captured in here. You could just put different numbers in here and it would change your personal percentage. So if I just go by the numbers, it's 7%, and then if I count for something else, it's up to 17%. Each person has their personal sheet, and then that gets aggregated for everyone. So here's the average of everyone. I asked a few faculty members to do this, and they did. So I think six people have done this now, and you can see our average um, teaching is 41% of the effort for these six people. Service is 18, and research is 40, um, with the average hour work week being 49 hours. And uh, you have the standard deviation. I think the relative standard deviation or the CV is interesting because it the higher the number, it means the more disparity there was among what we said. So uh, teaching, we didn't vary that much in what we said, but service and research, we did a lot. So <clears throat> um, you could just do this once, and then if something changed, you just go in and change one thing instead of redoing an entire survey.